unbelievable. My wonderful people see the reason why there was serious confusion in Baochi as APC rally ends suddenly. Somebody will say abruptly, you know, there was a reason. You know, do you know what the youth started doing? They started destroying all the presidential campaign materials of Tinubu. But again, guys, that is wrong. If you are engaged in that, that's very wrong. Please don't do it. Don't go and be destroying people's campaign materials. It not make them win or not win. Let's not involve in that, please. It's wrong. Anyway, see what thing happened for the uh, the campaign rally. We be say all of a sudden, you know, the rally just stopped. Everybody just had to the go as. Ah, Buhari said, come the place. Enough he talk. Tinubu not talk. APC chairman and I, they won't try to make speech. For they know what kind of thing. Just they happen, happen, happen. For you know, bash. Let's get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Confusion in Bauchi as APC rally ends suddenly. The presidential campaign rally of the All Progressive Congress in Bauchi State ended abruptly over faulty, faulty sound system. The rally was ongoing at the Tafawa Balewa Square Bauchi on Monday, ended abruptly when the light went off and could not be restored. The light went out shortly after the national chairman, Abdul Rahim Adamu, mounted the podium and began to deliver a speech. The president, Major Muhammad Buhari, retired, who was present at the rally, had to leave immediately with his entourage. Buhari has arrived Bauchi to lead the All Progressive Congress presidential and governorship campaign rally. The aircraft conveying the president touched down at the Sat Sa Abu Bakar Tafawa Balewa Airport, Bauchi, around 10:20 a.m. He was received by the Bauchi State Governor Balam Mohammed, who is the People Democratic Party candidate and his opponent in the 11th March 11th governorship election. Uh, Marshal Squid Abubakar. Others at the airport to receive the president where the APC party chairman Abdul Rahim Adamu, director general of the APC presidential campaign council, the governor of Plateau State, Simeon Leilong, Senate President Hamed Lawa, Speaker of the House of Representatives Femi Bajagbamela, former chief of defense staff Abdul Rahim. Andrew Bay, Governor of Bernu, Kirby, Yobe State, uh, all there to receive Buhari. Buhari has, pre has proceeded to the Palace of the Emir of Berchi for a courtesy visit and thereafter headed to Sa uh, Tafawa Balewa Square venue for the campaign rally before the sound and the system did not work. Buhari was officially presented to the APC candidate of the Bauchi electorate at the rally and to afterward depart for Lagos, where he was scheduled to begin a two-day working visit. In Lagos, Buhari will unveil several projects, including the Lekki Deep Ship port, the Blue Line Ray project designed to run from my two to the mainland in my in in mainland 32 meter turns Lagos rice mill a motu and 18.75 kg a local and a T junction expressway others are the John Redu Center for Yoruba Culture and History and groundbreaking for the Blue Line Ray Phase 2 my two to other areas but Buhari had to leave abruptly. So now what's happened for Bauchi State now you the year so the teacher and bus not like that. Why? What's he happen? Nobody fit talker. They say where's the sound system it just go off enough he repair her. Anyway the matter not be smart you know so now so now so the elect the whole campaign just stay end all of a sudden people not feel understand what's in the happen well my wonderful people you and i must be very much aware and we must ensure that um, we know who we are voting for it doesn't matter the campaigns that are being done by peter Obi, atiku tinobu whoever is campaigning it's good a sensitization for the people to know that you know to be able to relate with them and understand who they are what they intend to do questions being asked you know and their interest all being you know registered however 
at the end of the day, you and I, and you don't hear that matter, will decide. We're not going to leave them for their hand. May them decide for us. We'll have to be the deciding factor on what happens on these grounds. So you can see that it is important, it is necessary that we do not leave things to chance. Every time we do that, we, we, really, we really, you know, do not give ourselves a better opportunity. Every single time we participate in such, oh dear, we do not give ourselves a good opportunity. So we must ensure that at the end of the day, every single one of us is doing everything, humanly speaking, possible. So that Nigeria can become a better place, a change place, and a, you know, a safe home for us. Okay? It must become a better place. Buhari, Buhari angrily, you know, left the place. Buhari ang he stormed out. He, he angrily left the place. You know, how can you come to a, such a meeting, you know, and there is no proper, uh, you know, the, the sound, I mean, it should be top notch. Everything should be done decently and in order. You know, so this is what is happening. This is what is going on. And then you just have to begin to, uh, you just have to begin to understand that every one of us are in this together and nobody, you know, should, should keep quiet and think that things are suddenly going to fall in place. You know, Buhari can see for himself, the elections have not even begun. Uh, you know, the result is not out yet, but the disappointment has started already. It has started already. So whether you like it or not, there is serious call for concern. And every single one of us must begin to ensure that uh, we are rising up as we should. And we are putting things, you know, step by step. You know, when you lay bricks, you don't just, you don't, it does not just stand like that beautiful uh, structure you see. It takes time. It's lines upon lines, brick upon brick. That's how the bricks is laid. It does not just, you know, it does not just appear. Somebody was diligent. Somebody was working. Somebody was making sure things were done, you know, decently and in order. And at the end of the day, we can truly, you know, say that we have done things well, you know, and we are, we are, we are working at it and we are bringing Nigeria, you know, into the better place that it should be. Every time we neglect the opportunity of the change that we really deserve, we live we put ourselves in more danger yeah we put ourselves in more danger and so we must not um, allow such things to continue okay because the days upon us have come to show to us that the more you let it the more it will happen please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe god bless have a lovely and a fantastic day from us it's bye for now